I'm simply dead. Today I'm gonna teach you how to survive a little bit longer in the game and get better. Hey, welcome back. I'm HD2K and you're watching a Naruto Porto Shinobi Striker Guide. I got a 3B! 2, 3, 4! Everything's going up! I got three kills! Step one is to completely forget your movement and learn a new one. A lot of you guys suck at moving in a rated T Naruto what? game. Have you ever tried a glide glitch and it ends up looking like this? Or this? Or even this? Unfortunately, this technique is not gonna help you survive. A lot of the times I'm at the bottom or even you guys are at the bottom of this cavern and you look like you might pitfall and you start double jumping. Let me tell you why you should stop doing that immediately. Now this movement is great and beautiful and it's very smooth and it helps you carry the flag or get to bases quicker, but what is the huge issue here for it? You'll end up doing something called a wall splat or a hard knock depending on who you ask. This advanced movement technique can be a double-sided dagger. Using your chakra jump and your regular jump, you're able to do a double jump. I highly recommend that you do not do this around other people because they may hard knock you. I would do this if you need to quickly get up or no one's around you at all. Think of this one as 1.5. Build your class structure for game modes, not necessarily what you need for right then. I highly recommend that you don't do rainbow. I think it would hurt you in the future. Step number two is simply being a better teammate. There's beginner, quick match, ninja world league, survival exercise, and ninja world hero festival. Now, if you're a beginner, stay in beginner as long as you can. Do not go to quick match or ninja world league or hero festival or survival. For the everything that is holy, please stay in beginner's match. <clears throat> One thing this game is plagued with is very long wait time. So you have a lot of time. If you have a team, go ahead and talk to them. Now, looking here, you see that I need to pick defense to complete the rainbow. Someone needs to protect the flag. We already have a healer. We already have an attack and we already have a range. So it's my turn to be a defense. And that is being a good teammate. Think about this as 2.5. I hear this complaint all the time. I don't have anybody to play with. I'm going to solve that. You may be asking, how are you going to do that, HD? Wait, 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 I'll tell you. Pre-COVID, people actually used to make friends. I know, it's crazy. If you don't have people to play with, I want you to go to people in the lobby right now and go to their friends and add them and then say, hey, saw you in the lobby. Are you solo? It's okay because the worst thing that they're going to say is no. And I promise you, the more you play with people, the better your KD will be. Hey, dude, I like your style. You want to be my friend or something, dude? Dude, yeah. Oh, never mind. You got a Deku picture. I'm out. Hey, you still there? Cool. Come a little bit closer. Slap the like button right now. Step three, your fighting style is whack. There are two simple things that you guys simply struggle with in Shinobi Striker. Backflipping and simply locking onto your target. Selecting your target and traveling in between multiple will allow you to do an advanced movement that allows you to go through kunai and some ninjutsu. Also, if you don't select your target, you will look like an idiot and just hit random people that are nearby. So start hitting your targets and selecting them, please. And if you do that, all you have to do is push down on your analog stick, the one on the right side. Push down on that and it will select somebody nearby. And to kind of go between multiple, you just use the left stick and it'll switch back and forth. So be careful because it may switch multiple times. If you backflip, you are going to use your blocking button and the right stick and you're just going to keep going back. Now, if you're not targeting anybody, you will just do a simple dash. By the way, that facility is called Survival and it is practice so you can play against bots and practice your combos. All right, here's a little bonus for you. Look at all the stuff. Stats. And now, if you want different stats on your clothes, go to 1010, and then there you can actually Shinobi boost any stat of any clothes that you want. Now, I can't say for certainty which one is going to be the best for your build. That is something you have to do with trial and error. Personally, I like boost ninjutsu damage and max health. Always go with max health on your bottom. No, what did you think? There's going to be more information? No, I gave you everything I have. If you want more, say something in the comments. See?